Hey everyone, welcome to Do You Even Lift Bro, a podcast about home gyms, DIY, lifting, and life. This podcast is a production of Garage Gym Experiment, and for those of you who prefer visuals, the podcast is also available on YouTube on the Garage Gym Radio channel. What is going on everyone? We are back with another episode of Do You Even Lift Bro. As always, I am Matt, and joining me today is Mr. Kim. How you doing, Kim? I'm doing good, Matt. It's good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't butcher it that time. <laughs> no, you got no. it. Yeah, <laughs> what have you been up to, dude? Oh man, uh, just staying busy. Alaska busy. It's hunting season Alaska for everybody busy. out there. Yeah, and uh, so I just got back a couple of days ago from uh, from a little hunting trip. It was kind of a quick turnaround. Yeah, we went to go look. Uh, went to go look for some moose. We didn't. We saw mm-hmm. a, a moose, and we couldn't do anything with it. It was. <laughs> it had like couldn't do anything. Like too small. Yeah, no. It. Uh, it was a cow. It was a female. So we were, we we're only allowed to, to hunt. The oh, bulls. okay. Um, so anyway, so that's all you saw them turn just around. It was like, yeah, it was just, we were only out there for like, it, maybe 36 hours. Um, do, do Oh, so. dang dude. Oh, it, uh, it turned into, um, what can I, can I say shit show? It was kind of like a mini Don't. shit show. Can don't say don't, that? Say that. <laughs> don't say that. I wouldn't say that. This is this is my this is my life as a hunter. Um, or <laughs> this I, is a like children's a camper. program. Don't say I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a poopy uh, show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a poopy mess. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> we. So a buddy of mine that uh, lives down the street. We've known each other for like six years. We we're both in the same yep. boat. Where um, we didn't start hunting until we moved up here. Uh, six. Yeah wait, eight years ago. And mm-hmm. uh, so this is all we know. And uh, we've never hunted together. We decided this year was it. We had these yeah. extravagant plans. He has a, a, a raft jet boat and we're going to take it up a river. We are going to get yeah. away from the crowds because even though Alaska is so big and there's a lot of places to hunt, uh-huh. it gets very crowded and places that um, are easily uh, accessible. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Whether it's by some hot know, vehicle there, or guess. ATV, yeah. Right, and right. Uh, so anyway, we made this plan. He's like, okay, I looked at this river. Then we looked at the river together where we could go. And then we said, okay, we're gonna camp. We're gonna get away from everybody. We mm-hmm. see this like spot on the map, you know, we do like a little e-scouting and uh, on the maps and stuff. And we're like, all right, we're good. This is going to be awesome. We planned it for a week. One, we didn't leave until like four or five hours later and we needed to. Um, anyway, Eek. we were in too big yeah. of a hurry. Uh, we get to the river, we unload, you know, it's, it's fine. And then we travel. Um, we kind of did, there was a certain area that we had to stay in because of certain um, boundaries uh, okay. that we could, that we were allowed to hunt him. And yeah. uh, anyway, anyway, um, we traveled the whole thing. It was maybe 10 plus miles of river that we could kind of uh, hunt in. And then we mm-hmm. eventually found a spot that we were going to camp at. We set up camp and then we made a plan for the next day. And that was, okay, we're going to hike across. We're going to go bushwhack through all these alders and all these trees. We're gonna, mm-hmm. And then we're going to hike up this, this hill. And then we should be able to look over uh, where I'm pointing. Can you see that? I'm pointing mm-hmm. to where we I were see at. that. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. I mean, I got lots what of pictures. What a sight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, so we get out. So anyway, so that's the plan. We wake up in the morning. Uh-huh. We're just going to use Tuesday as a, what day was Was that Tuesday? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Maybe it was Monday. Crap, I already forgot. Anyway, we were just going to use the first full day as just kind of scouting, just look mm-hmm. all, at, over everything. And, um, and then go from there. So Mm -hmm. we wake up, we do our thing, we start hiking in and we get like a quarter of a mile. And all of a sudden there is this monstrous, like well-groomed, well-traveled ATV trail. And we're just like, crap, like ATV trails. I mean, there's people like, I mean, other people are out here and you're like, dang it. Like right. we did all this e-scouting and we never saw this trail on the map. <laughs> and uh, we had to like zoom in uh, once we realized where it was at. Anyway, so yeah. we were like, well, we're here. So we hiked up and then we went back and forth, you know, a half a dozen miles um, on this ATV trail that just looked like it could have gone forever, really. Yeah. Um, we saw a few, we saw like two other campsites out there, but they were pretty far out. And yeah. uh, anyway, we spent the whole day out there. Uh, didn't see a lick. We saw some pretty... Um, 
rainbows because uh, it was sprinkling and raining on us <laughs> off and on uh, throughout the day. Yeah. And then we ran into another dude that had made camp where we were going to go out the next morning. And we're like, oh, we'll just wake up really early. We'll have the headlamps on. We're going to we're going to we're going to be there. And then this guy shows up. And he's like, oh, I just set up camp like 200 yards that way. <laughs> well, that blows that idea out of the way. Um, so anyway, so then we we uh, hiked back to camp and our plan was really to. Um, since we didn't see any other like new sign for moose, we just said, Let's just pack up and go to a different river that we had kind of scouted. So as we're packing up, this guy comes by on a boat and mm. says, there's a moose right up the river. Like, <laughs> get it. And uh, so my buddy's like, Kim, get in the boat now. Let's go. And I'm like, this is too fast. Like, I don't move. Like, this is, this is hasty. <laughs> like, like, and uh, anyway, we hop in the boat and we get about like, a hundred feet up the water. I'm like, crap, I don't have my life vest out. And this water is like in the forties. And there was a sign yeah. before we, before we unloaded. And it was like, if I'm protected, you could probably last six to 11 minutes in the water. And I was like, Oh, we dang. need my, we need a, I gotta get my, <laughs> I gotta get my vest. Jeez, man. Anyway. So we turn around, we get the, get my life jacket on. And then we head up the, the river. We don't see anything. And you know, mm -hmm. by this time it's like seven in the evening eight no mm -hmm. seven seven thirty in the evening and then we come back and we're getting ready to uh dock back to camp and then all of a sudden the the engine dies and just stops mm -hmm. and uh and the current is nice and swift and down the down the river we go just at its mercy oh no Jeez. <laughs> and uh so then i'm just like uh this is not good and then i hear him say this isn't good kim <laughs> and i went Wait, uh, like you're the engine guy. Like I don't know anything right. about like small engines. Like I, I was like, you know, it's bad if he's saying it's not good. Yeah, I know. I was like, um, <laughs> I knew I should have taken that small engine class when I was in high school or something. <laughs> um, anyway, so we drift. We get the oars out and we're like trying to row and like we miss our first like spot we're gonna land at, and then we yeah. finally hit a second one. Like ended up on a sandbar. We had to climb out, and all this oh. is happening while it's raining. And uh, anyway, so he fiddles around with the engine for a while, can't get it. Um, we kind of unloaded some stuff because I was unfortunately prepared to sleep on a tarp um, mm -hmm. on this island sandbar and in the cold and be <laughs> wet, and it was going to be a miserable, miserable ordeal. And um, yeah. uh, anyway, like you know, I'm a praying man, so I was like we don't need to be here <laughs> like if we can get out of here this would be really really great and um anyway and then it was like a few minutes later uh we checked the uh we like well maybe it's a battery connection and thankfully mm -hmm. that's all it was and uh, the engine started oh, okay. right back up and uh, so we loaded back up then we had to push ourselves off uh the sandbar and uh anyway and then we ended up making back to camp and he was like well what do you want to do and i was like to be honest, this whole trip has been weird. <laughs> All of like leading up to the trip let's, has been weird. Like, let's just stop while we're like, ahead of the I'm, weirdness. <laughs> like, this is, no, I can see nothing good coming out of this. And uh, you know, some people will probably say, "Oh, you big, you big chicken shit!" Like you did, it. <laughs> like you should at right. least try. And it was like maybe had there been other like moose sign or like fresh moose sign anywhere right. um it would have been a little bit more encouraging it's crazy i live in yeah. tennessee and like it seems like everyone hunts and it's kind of weird if you don't hunt or whatever you know yeah or all, like, up in Kansas, all rednecks yeah. or whatever yeah. yeah but now it's i've never actually been hunting but there was there was one time my dad's been hunting and um because he was never a hunter like he's hunted but he's not a hunter when i grew up so i wasn't i was yeah. never exposed to that and um but i do know there was one time we had this fox that came on our property and I was like a little kid and I remember him shooting the fox. Right. And then for whatever yeah. reason, he skinned the fox and he made us like stand out there and watch him. It was like a learning yeah. lesson. Yeah. I don't know what the lesson was that my dad's, yeah. you know, <laughs> killing and skinning <laughs> animals. I don't really know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this is what I'm going to do to you. If you don't, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't know, yeah. but this is what I can that's, do. That's you, my kid. story with, and that's, yeah, that's not even hunting, you know, it's just <laughs> killing an animal. So, but yeah, anyways, that's, uh, that's yeah, my, my dad, story. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in, growing up in Kansas, <laughs> even though there's pheasant hunting, deer yeah. hunting, um, all over the place that wasn't, my yeah. dad grew up on the farm, on a farm, but I didn't grow mm -hmm. up on the farm. And so like, that's just, 
um, a lot of that outdoorsy stuff is very uh, is very new um, and yeah, foreign. Yeah. So trying to figure it out. Mm. But yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. You'll, you'll figure it out, buddy. I know you yeah, will. Someday, uh... someday. I mean, <laughs> I've gotten a couple caribou. Me and a buddy have taken, we've taken down a moose. And uh, so like we've had some success. Um, yeah. We're just not like the crazy guys that, you know, somehow they end up getting it every single year. Right. Nah, you'll, you'll get it aside from, uh, I know you're doing, um, your hunting and whatever you're running yeah. a business over there. Barbar Bar rescue. Oh yeah. That's yeah. That thing. You. Yeah. It's, what, uh, uh, it's... Well, be, people, they've never even heard of your products. I know that you've been on the podcast before, but what is, yeah. what is Barbell rescue? What uh, is it? Barbell rescue is a 335 to 360 degree cleaning brush mm -hmm. clamps around the brush versus the whole idea. Um, again, was, Everybody was using a flat brush on a round object. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a faster way. I was um, at that time I was coaching uh, CrossFit and um, and aspiring mm -hmm. to be a gym owner, but that wasn't working out um, at that time uh, because I was still active duty military. Sorry, my dog's right here. Yeah. Um, and uh, and he's very needy. Um, this dog. And um, anyway, so I wanted to try to help them out. And uh, mm -hmm. one day I was just kind of looking up what was. A bunch of what was the crappiest job within the gym and the brush came up uh, was, cleaning, or cleaning foremost. barbells came up and then I started looking <laughs> into that and uh, one day the light bulb went off and I said wait why is everybody right. using we got a, a round object and we got a flat uh -huh. brush like that's not that efficient so I mean, anyway they gotta be time. waiting yep. at, they're wasting a lot of time and uh, right. so anyway uh, I went to the garage grabbed a water bottle some other brush uh, that I found mm -hmm. and uh, and put together the prototype and the rest is kind of history. That was like, I say the rest is history. That was like a three year process, um, maybe yeah. four years yeah, to, yeah. Get, to get to a manufacturer. I remember you talking about it pretty um, lengthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't from really idea ever, to... <laughs> yeah, from, con from idea to prototype uh -huh. and then through all the different uh, versions right. and then to get to the final product. Uh, but it was one of those, I wasn't in a really big hurry. Um, right. but yeah, so that's what barbell rescue is. It's a faster, more efficient, uh, way mm -hmm. to clean barbells. Uh, routine maintenance is kind of where it started with, um, mm -hmm. you know, for them just to do the quick, uh, down dirty mm -hmm. with their uh, barbell to get it clean and, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and they can get about their business and because, you know, gym owners are, they're trying to run a gym and they got <laughs> right. a million other right. things on their plate and not um barbell maintenance seems to be from what i've always gathered one of the last yeah. things that is uh it's not a priority um yeah but yeah no I, could, I can see that hundreds of thousands you know hundreds and thousands of dollars on a bar um yeah. and you know one gym might have 10 20 30 bars some even 60 right. um so cleaning those and keeping them in good working order for yeah. their uh, members and stuff is is a big deal so that's what yeah, I started. No, I can say, I mean, I've, I've got one. Yeah. I was just, I've got one. Um, obviously I've made a review video on it, but, um, mm -hmm. I like mine. It's, it's, it is, it's fast, it's efficient. And, uh, which I mean, obviously being a one man show over here, I use a barbell and is it cleaned? Sure. It's not that big of a deal for me, pull it out, whatever, but I could sure. imagine a commercial setting, especially a CrossFit commercial setting. You got yep. tons and tons just going through whatever and all that chalk. Is it true? I don't know if you know this or not, but does uh does chalk in general like if it stays on your barbell can it trap moisture yeah, and basically start corroding it's it it's still that... it's still absorbing like the whole purpose of the chalk is to absorb mo moisture right. and so exactly. if it's still on yeah. there you know just the humidity or the moisture in the right. air is still yeah, going to grab yeah, yeah. it on there and then all the other gunk that's built up you know from the sweat or whatever it's still right right and uh and some bars that i've seen you know like it's just kind of right there in the grooves and then it's just kind of, you start seeing some pitting or some rusting. Um, yeah. Yeah. That and, makes sense. Uh, so even if, um, and I know I mentioned this before, but you know, even like on the garage gym side of the house, there's a lot of people that said that they didn't really, uh, well, I don't use chalk or I don't really need it. I only have one bar, but you know, again, yeah. well, you still spending, get a lot of crap like off your hands in general. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. The bars are dead. expensive. Yeah. And you're, yeah, you're spending so much on a bar. Like why would mm -hmm. you just do why would you let it go to waste? Um, I know, I know there's people right. out there. They're like, the rust is cool, but I don't know. I don't, <laughs> right. I, don't, I, I, I want nah, it to last that's... as long as I'm alive. Um, and so right. just nah, like, uh, I wish I could remember who said it. 
as I've gone down this, as I've gone through this whole journey in researching barbell cleaning and maintenance and uh, yeah. somebody that was like, and it makes sense, you know, having a nursing back, you know, being a nurse, having that background and somebody was mm -hmm. like, it's like flossing your teeth. Like you have, to, you, you don't want to do it, but you have, you yeah. should, you better do it yeah. or they're going to, you know, um, and yeah, it's like, get it's you. just that you're just, uh, <laughs> you're just flossing the, the knurlings. That's all you're doing. Yeah. There you go. Um, hey, this is random. This is completely random, but I got to tell yeah. you this because I'm super excited about it. But uh, I just recently swapped toothpaste over to Colgate Optic <laughs> White. Uh, oh. It's random, but I'm starting to see some good results. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I've got to no tell way. everyone. No, I got to tell everyone now, like Colgate <laughs> Optic White. I mm. they, they say on the box up to four shades wider. If you look at some of the Whoa. other ones that are like whitening. Yeah, the other ones that are whitening, yeah. they're like two up to two shades. They mm. boast a whopping four shades. I used so, the, and I, I used the, was it Crest 3D whitening? I wonder how oh, many yeah, shades yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly, probably not yeah. four. Yeah. No, and it's, it's completely random. I was, I was like, my wife, she always buys, I think it's Crest that she always buys. It's not, it's a, uh, it's just a generic, uh, their normal, like general line of toothpaste, you know, with whitening yeah, sure, in it or whatever, sure, nothing sure, like sure. this. And, and I yeah. felt like my teeth were starting to, um, not yellow, but just, they just didn't look as just, vibrant as I wanted them to be, you know, just, uh, bit, yeah. Little and I, I'm not even like a, a soda drinker, coffee drinker. I'm not a smoker. Like, there's no reason uh -huh. for it. I guess it's just normal, whatever. And uh, she it's called the, she's called the, the aging store, process, like in, Matt. Probably your teeth just start turning colors. <laughs> no, start, but like you just start wearing it out. was uh right, yeah. But now I was like, I was like, hey, get us some toothpaste. She's at the store. I was like, get us some toothpaste. And I did like a quick little Google search, and I'm like, I'm really mindful of of some of the search results. Because they'll create lists of like the top whatever, and I'm always thinking yeah. that there's something behind that. Like they're they're pushing all of these toothpaste or whatever. But <laughs> uh, the Colgate Optic White, it was at the top of every mm. list, and mm. they were boasting basically that it, it cleans the external of the tooth, and then it also does an internal cleaning, and that's oh, apparently goodness. the difference versus it mm. and the other ones. You get that mm. internal cleaning, yes, sir. Mm. So uh, I will have to like ask my wife for your teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna have I don't to know ask. if that's the right uh, uh, Well, my wife used to be. Uh oh, something's coming through the garage. Um, just kidding. They know. They know better. <laughs> um, they're like, they see the lights on in the garage, and they start to open the garage door. They're like, uh oh, uh -oh. dad's out there. Uh, he's either making a TikTok or uh, making a TikTok. <laughs> um, he's not working out. Uh, <laughs> Like, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, back to the oral hygiene. It is very uh, key, and uh, and it's a good. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, it's just crap, a good I habit, forgot. a daily habit for sure. Well, yeah, that, that, that too. Up. But a uh, indicator of overall health. Um, there's your oh nursing, yeah 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 there's, yeah. there's your nursing there you 101 for you. Um, there you go. But anyway, I'm gonna have to ask, <laughs> my wife used to be a, a dental assistant. I'm going to have to ask her about this. Hey, in, dude, internal, for real, ask internal her. cleaning. Um, yeah, there's. I forget. Not, I forget the term. Uh, they they say it. They say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was like the differentiating factor on a couple of them sites I was on, and they weren't like the same writers or whatever. But they yeah. said because it has that. The two, the two mm. uh, cleaning methods were ones like an internal and the other ones an external or whatever. That's how they, you know, throw it out there. And I was like, well, yeah. that makes sense, I guess. Mm. But now that I'm using it and I'm actually seeing results pretty quickly, yeah. it's like, well, yeah, there's definitely something to this. Either that or the toothpaste I was using before was like so piss poor just that garbage. anything would have just yeah. cleaned, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to uh, start. Yeah. You're going to so, start. Anyways. When do you get your affiliate code for this uh, toothpaste? Like. Uh, hey, we some. don't talk about that, but seriously, Colgate, if <laughs> like, you're listening, Colgate, like, uh, <laughs> sponsor this man. <laughs> I'll be the one writing the article next time. <laughs> It'll be the top 10 list and Colgate's yeah, going to make yeah. all 10 spots. They, <laughs> um, I guess if, uh, the, uh, the, uh, garage gym and equipment reviews don't go well, you can do, maybe do a toothbrush uh, review. I'm serious. Yeah, there you go, man. But no, yeah. that's uh, I don't know. It's just the Sky's correlation the between brushing your teeth. And brushing barbells, and you talk about flossing yeah, your barbells. Yeah. I mean, I had to make that connection and go there. Yeah, so, you, you, whatever. <laughs> put it together. Well uh, done. Well done. Right. <laughs> that's a sign. Aside of a good, from uh, that's a sign of a good 
uh, podcast host. The way to pull it together. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, and, and now that <laughs> we've come full circle, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, as far as your, your Barbar Rescue, like, are you, uh, how yeah. are sales, like, not in terms uh, of, like, how much you're selling, but you have a lot more interest. I know you have, you've got some companies picking you up and, yeah, and so, uh, uh, pushing your product and whatnot. So. Yep. So... We've had a couple more uh, folks that are selling online on their websites. Mm -hmm. um, Garage Team Outfitters has come along. Stre um, oh my yeah, gosh. yeah. Warehouse Strength USA has come on. Um, I do have uh -huh. another company out there that's reviewing the brush right now that could possibly pick it up, um, but I'm not going to say names yet. Okay. Um, hey, go ahead and say a name. Yeah, Let's that was. That one's pretty exciting. <laughs> this one I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> um, uh, and, and and not like last time where you said, oh, is it rogue? And uh, no, it's not. It's not. Right. But it's, <laughs> but it's, it's. Right. I'm excited for this one. I, um, for, right. For there you guys. go. And then well, I'm uh, two, two interesting. Well, in the last month, um, oh. actually in the last two weeks, I've had, um, um, we're working on a collegiate athlete um sponsorship uh program okay um nice. since the college athletes can um you know through their nil through this name image likeness uh program with the then they can get paid um yeah, i've had a yeah. couple of athletes recently reach out um that were interested and so we're going to try to put something together um to help nice. the college kids i got a soft spot for college football so um yeah 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 uh, and these and it was within the same week too two different guys uh, from two different schools reached out and I was like, mm -hmm. I didn't even think this was, this is awesome. Yeah. And so that is um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm working on, we're working on that. Hopefully within the next uh, week, that'll be done with these, uh, with these couple kids. And, yeah. um, and then the other big thing that we're working on, we actually have a, uh, we're almost finalized. Um, we got a company in Sweden that is looking to distribute, um, the brush overseas um, in the uh, Scandinavian nice. countries, and uh, so um, that's a pretty exciting deal. And they have um, aspirations to push uh, the product. Would actually it'd be pretty phenomenal. And that's an an avenue that yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Um, when we talk back end side of the house and with mm -hmm. you know uh, shopping online and you have abandoned carts. Right. Um, we have a lot of overseas abandoned carts um, that we gotcha. see, and I can only assume that's due to uh, shipping costs. And I was going to so say, this, do you ship internationally? Or you, we I do ship imagine inter you do. Okay. We do, and uh, so we we're kind of it's um, astronomical to get it to them. Um, gotcha. Yes, I've. Ooh, I had a conversation with a, a guy from uh, South Africa, and he was talking about w what he makes a what he makes a month versus just uh -huh. what my brush and um and and the duties and taxes what that would cost and it was oh, like a dang. humongous chunk of his like monthly you know income oh, crap, and man. i was like yeah. are you serious like i you know the whole um right, duties right. and customs things is um is new uh to me since uh you know okay we just, yeah we just don't do that i guess well I, me personally um just yeah. never buy anything from overseas and right, um right. Anyway, so we're trying to, we do have a system put in place now where it shows for the international folks, it does show uh, what the shipping costs and the duties and taxes would be up front. Oh, okay. Um, so now gotcha. they know that gotcha. they pull it in, they put their information in, and it will calculate mm -hmm. it all. And that way they know right away because um, in right. the past it was, it would just show shipping cost and mm -hmm. then the product gets shipped overseas and then they're... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Dude, so it was dude. It was so like a would, surprise then, kind of on them. So like, then they, they get, didn't know um, what was be, they got it. um, yeah, I think the way I understand it, they, a lot of them, you know, if they do order from overseas, they already kind of have an idea what the percentage right, the right. I was gonna say. is. Um, uh -huh. but you know, maybe it's, maybe if they've never done it before, I guess I'm just speculating right. at this point. I can see that. Um, no, yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Anyway, so it's all up front and then ideally that should, um, because they're paying for the duties and taxes up front, then they don't right. have to wait for it to get overseas. It can just go directly to and just kind of be processed. So gotcha. one, gotcha. they'll know the cost up front, and then two, um, in theory, that should speed uh, the process up uh, to get through. Oh, I would imagine uh, so. So, so right. yeah, so we do 
we are overseas, but then this um, this company in Sweden would just help kind of offset some of those, um, you know, time frames right, right. and then shipping costs uh, for them, especially. And mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, we've had a little bit of everybody, um, inter- like worldwide, which is mind blowing yeah. to me um, to be here. That's good. Yeah, and that's, that's only really awesome. The, yeah, you know, really only to have the brush for six months mm-hmm. on the market. Um, to have Australia, Canada, Great Britain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I think. I, I think it was you. You said when you got started, basically distribution and stuff just kind of like worked itself out. Like it fell into your lap, and people were kind of like approaching you about things. Is that yeah. right? So like you've you've <laughs> yeah, had a lot the, of success, kind um, of getting it going. We have had a lot of success um, with uh, uh, with with honestly people reaching out to us. Um, That's awesome. And, man. And, uh, and that's how we found about, that's how we found our distribution, um, center and, mm-hmm. uh, and warehouse. And, and it was all through, um, actually a year ago next week, uh, we had a video, mm-hmm. our, our second TikTok video had gone viral. And, and I know I talked about TikTok way too much for a middle-aged man. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but that, that video went viral and then one of their sales rep was like, Hey, I was just mindlessly yeah. scrolling through TikTok. What are you doing for distribution? And, uh, and at that point in time, um, I had a plan. It was going to be my sister, but I fired her as soon as I found out these guys were going to be cheaper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh but no seriously that's what um, you do that's the natural order of things that's you know and and then you just don't hire family because then yeah. there's always some sort of riff no um, but anyway so these guys reached no. out and uh they pitched a pretty good a pretty good deal to me and uh and i couldn't say no and then there's room for yeah. um uh growth uh with these guys as well so um oh, yeah so that's, awesome, been, that is that's awesome. been exciting you've kind of mentioned it a couple of times like age and and getting up there and uh and stuff like that just yeah. um kind of uh well, talking am, about working out because I, I have been a grandpa for six months now so um i'm definitely old. yeah congratulations by the way thank you thank you she's beautiful by the way <laughs> there you go yeah nice as far as uh working out and stuff though what are you doing over there are you doing anything or are you just uh, uh time well take it's this has been a great grab its uh, hold on you yeah it's been an interesting over the last, well, shoot, since uh, this year in particular has been kind of a weird one. And then I can even tie it back to even a little bit of last year. Just um, I've been uh-huh. doing stuff for the in the garage. I've been working out in the garage. I've some, um, you know, hunting mm-hmm. um, specific kind of workouts or programs. Um, <laughs> you know, like yeah. uh, there's a there's a oh, gosh, atomic athlete is one of the partners and I can't think of who the hunting outfit is. Exo mountain gear, maybe I think it's these guys, but anyway, they had put together a, um, it's a CrossFit style, functional fitness style program together. Right. Um, geared specifically towards, um, mountain hikers and hunters. And I see uh, that's a really good idea. When you were talking about your story there, that's kind of what I was thinking is the physical aspect. I know you mentioned it, but just being yeah. out there and so doing a all lot that of stuff, you've got to be like to a level of oh, these physicality. Guys, man, I got yeah, I have some friends that are you know diehard uh, mountain hunters, and uh-huh. they are animals on the mountainside, and I'm back there just <laughs> oh my side, my side, I can't. <laughs> Wee, hang on, yeah. hang on, guys. I gotta catch my breath. Y'all go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, gotcha. I get I get really good at just seeing them, you know, from behind. I'm just like, <laughs> wait, wait, um, right. but yeah, so it was a lot of, um, it, you know, it was a lot of uh, just rucking or, or backpacking yeah. in general, mm-hmm. underweight, and a lot of lunges, a lot of squat, uh, squats, uh, squats. What's a squat? Uh, it's a squat. <laughs> it's a combination of waiting <laughs> because you don't want to do it and then actually squatting. Right. You're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Golly, uh, I squat all the time, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I am a religious squater. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was doing that earlier in the year 
And then I kind of I ended up with a uh, an overuse injury in one of my uh, one of my ankles, and then I had mm-hmm. to take some time off, and um, and then it's just been a grind to get back at it. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. You, um, like just in, you know I don't know if the overuse I thought I was just going I was pretty at a pretty good slow pace, um, and yeah. taking it easy, but for whatever reason you know, gotcha. It, it crept yeah. in there. Uh, but getting back on right. that horse, man, has been has been a grind just to try to find whatever that yeah. uh, motivation is and just trying, mm-hmm. you know, um, balancing the, like everybody right. else, just balancing life, you know, whatever's going yeah. on. Whether I, it's, I say uh, you kind of got to find that sweet spot for whatever works for you. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, and then, yeah. you know, over, I would say more so since then I, since I moved to Alaska eight years ago as far as like a fitness journey goes like prior to that it was yeah. it was always just kind of there but it was never anything that was like this was it what i was going to do and then i've had these like right, right. kind of big swings over the years and i suppose it's probably the same mm-hmm. for everybody else we go through these phases right uh, where you know six years ago it was like <laughs> blinders on and i was dead set yep. on fitness my workout routine my diet yep. it was I was crushing it um, in mm-hmm. my mind, and then you know life gets life gets crazy yeah. and life gets uh, and gets busy, and then so then you know I I had this you know I built this gym at one you know kind of during that whole process, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. you know and it's always the same you know like like the pros of having a garage gym it's there it's yeah. convenient and. Right. Um, I don't have membership dues, although you spend a lot of money to get there. Um, <laughs> right. I don't know when it balances out when you're um, right. Like, how much have I paid versus anyway? Uh, <laughs> maybe that could be another podcast. Um, right. But uh, and then just trying to find that up, you know that I don't want to say ebb and flow. That doesn't. Um, but anyway, trying to figure out what what is going to work for you and and yeah. trying to find your motivation. I know they say motivation is fleeting, and it is very fleeting. Uh-huh. Um, and to just having that discipline to get back in there and, uh, right. what I'm seeing right now, like personally is more like a, um, I think I'm going to have to go like, I haven't done CrossFit maybe four years. Has it yeah. Been that long? Yeah. Three, three years. I have no clue. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Come on, Matt. Don't you remember? I don't remember. Uh, we've I don't... known each other for. <laughs> 10 months. Um, you should know this by now. Um, but anyway, but I'm, I'm seriously been thinking I may need to do something more structured and where I leave the house to get me to do okay. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. whether that's, you know, finding some mm-hmm. personal, you know, either going to a personal trainer, going to a CrossFit right, class. Right. I haven't quite figured out where I want to go, but I honestly right, think for right. me right now, like I might have to leave the house. Um, because I work from home with mm-hmm. the brush, um, it's very easy for me to find an excuse not to go work out. Oh, um, oh, hundred like percent. I always, yeah. I always have. There is always another email that I can mm-hmm. be responding to. There's always yep. something I can yep. be doing different with the brush and with the business. Yep. Um, that's exactly versus, right. Yeah. Versus going out to the gym, and mm-hmm. like you can't see it from this view. But all around me, like I had to mm-hmm. like push stuff out of the way um, <laughs> to uh, to make space to sit out in, uh, in my garage. It's just um, you know, it's yeah. there's one. It's all the hunting gear drying out, and then two is just a mix uh-huh. of every dish standard garage stuff. And uh, so, yeah. um, but I think that's just part of the oh the absolutely life, yeah a uh, part of your life. You know, you're just everybody's got a little bit yeah. different, and it's just like okay, I'm aware. Like I need to adjust course for this purpose at right. this point in time and uh, and i think yeah, that's kind yeah. of where it's kind of where i'm at right now i i think i i think i have to walk i think i have to walk out from it um yeah so that i can just dedicate a full you know 45 mm-hmm. minutes or an hour to working out and then then i can come back and then just think about work because right now it's all just kind of cluttered um, right now i could and, i could totally see that kind of getting out of your um 
I don't know, like, it's the same mentality of, like, dogs not wanting to crap in their own yard. They want to go somewhere else and crap or whatever. And so, yeah, yeah, not yeah, really yeah, at yeah. all, but it's kind of the yeah, same. Like, like, I don't want to crap I, anywhere, um, but, <laughs> don't, no, I, Don't take yeah. a crap in your gym. That's the takeaway here, right? <laughs> yeah. So no, but, like, I have, don't I have a gym. gym full of equipment, and it's, like, I'm not going to say it's high-tech equipment, but it is, like, you know, the latest and greatest, a lot of it, you know, 100%. And yeah. it's, it's hard for me sometimes to just come out here and work out because like you said, yeah. uh, not so much like answering emails or whatever, but there's always something else I could be doing that in my mind at the time, it's more pressing. And I have a nasty yeah. habit of, um, of putting it off. It's, it's here at any point. So 10 o'clock tonight, I'll be out here working out after the day settles down or whatever. Well, usually at 10 o'clock at night, I'm tired. I don't want to, it's like, ah, tomorrow's another yeah. day. Let's just start it over. So I totally yeah. see it getting out of where you are. If it's not working, mm -hmm. trying to get your mind mm -hmm. right. And, um, yeah, once you figure out yeah. a program and jump back in and mm -hmm. yep, exactly. I think, um, we'll go back to some nursing theory here. Um, yeah. like when there's like big changes in your life and then you have, uh, yeah. they call them like crises. Um, so like mm -hmm. for me, like I'm fully aware that one is I've started a new business. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, even though it's been almost a year and a half, uh, from retirement from the military, um, that was one, you know, just a, a new lifestyle change or, you oh, know, yeah, um, structure to yeah. life. Um, uh -huh. I have another, you know, I have another part-time job that I work there. And then, so that's just adjusting to this new job. Um, mm -hmm. I've only been working there since I think, well, since about January. So, you know, you okay. kind of throw that in there. Um, I won't say, you know, and they don't have to necessarily be, um, like bad. Like when you say crisis, it doesn't have to be bad. Right, um, right, right. They're just big changes. Um, right. And then so it's just trying, like all of these things combined, um, just, mm -hmm. just got to try to, you know, figure out where, where you want to go and, and, um, and just understand that they're there. They're not necessarily bad. Or like even, you know, right. just the realization that I have, it, like I said, I have a granddaughter. Like, right. Absolutely. It yeah. still doesn't no, make that's, sense. That's huge. Like, <laughs> um, you're like, life looks a lot different when, when you end up with a grandkid all of a sudden, it's just like, yeah. One, how did I get this old? But then two, you're like, <laughs> there, there's actually an end date to your life. And you just like, you just <laughs> mind goes, your mind goes a million different places. Um, yeah, uh, I'm on that. And, uh, anyway, um, deep no, thoughts can, by Kim uh, life legacy. And all that <laughs> stuff. Um, I could totally see that though. So I, I think, I think it's important. Like if you, or I've always thought if if you're aware that maybe you should be working out or you're aware that like you should be doing something else, whatever, you're just yeah. not, at least that you're aware that you should be yeah. or that you've got that drive to want to, you're just not doing it yet. I yeah. think that in itself is a positive and that's, you've got to have that mindset too. Cause I feel like some people can just straight up give up like, ah, I just don't yeah. want to work out. And they just, they, that's it. They just, you know, the white flag yeah. and they're, yeah. they're done, you know? So yeah. I think if and you've I got think that that in your mind then you're good yeah and i think with the working out I, I think with the working out it um you know i don't think it has to be you know one thing like you can you know you dabble in it all oh like, it could be any, you know yeah you know whether absolutely you, yeah i want to do you know all of a sudden for whatever reason let's say i wanted to do some sort of physique body company like okay let's do that or like absolutely if I do yeah. a crossfit or if i just want to do hiking and i just yeah. you know there there's anything there's plenty yeah to do. absolutely there's plenty uh -huh. of options and um yeah and i cannot stand it here's a little bit inside my head i cannot stand it when people bash other <laughs> like workout like other like programs that are out right. there as long as they're being fit and doing things man that's all oh 100 percent like, you're getting it. up and moving. Like, doesn't matter what it looks like. Yeah, you can get up just, and just dance yeah. or do jumping jacks or anything at all. Yeah. Just yeah. as long as, as you're my... not, cause it's a lot easier to sit on the couch with Cheetos and, you know, or sit on your phone and, yeah. uh, my business partner, um, Sammy, uh, down in uh -huh. Tampa. Um, he, he tells me all the time cause he's even a little bit older than I am. Um, mm -hmm. he's just like movement is medicine. Movement is medicine. Movement is just, mm -hmm. just keep moving. And um, out of all those people that, you know, all the uh, geriatrics that I've ever taken care of um, in a hospital mm -hmm. floor, to be honest, it, you know, those that were moving weren't likely in the hospital. Um, yeah. You know, if that. they had a sedentary lifestyle, they were more yeah. apt to be in the hospital. And, uh, and that's unfortunate. But um, 
anyway, it's not a blanket yeah. statement for those that are going to be picking this apart. Um, <laughs> no, I, 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 I agree. I agree. <laughs> I mean, hundred percent. I, I agree. I think doing anything doesn't matter what you're doing. I mean, unless, unless I'm saying this and you're out there like serial killing or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's a no go, but anything else, Ch- you know what I mean? <laughs> Chasing down. Um, <laughs> My I, exercise is running from the law. <laughs> it's I, like, nah, actually, that's... <laughs> I actually chase little kids at the bus stop and then trick them. Uh, that's, <laughs> I push them down and take their lunch. Nothing gets my heart beating faster. <laughs> yeah. Than making children cry yeah. when I trip them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it must oh, be a healthy, a healthy fitness. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no, I totally. Mm. I did. I did think it was neat though. Like I didn't even think about that. But I thought, like when you were talking about your your hunting and and all that stuff, I was thinking, like, dude, you've got to be fit to do that. And then you said you're doing specific exercises, like geared towards that life or whatever, like specific hunting. Yeah exercises in my mind this is very stupid in my mind i pictured some sort of like a uh, a gun attachment that you would hook up to a cable machine and you would like, <laughs> just, I, like <laughs> you know I just, I just i thought of those sword like, x pistol grips you know what I mean? like <laughs> the sword x pistol grips <laughs> and just pop up I, I don't know man that's just where my like, mom went and uh, uh it's so stupid <laughs> i feel like i've seen some stupid videos like that somewhere I'm sure yeah, I could yeah, call yeah. it like some sort of rifle workout and um, it's, <laughs> it's see what it comes Yeah, up. no. So, oh, so like, stupid. But no, I like I like that. That's curls. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, no, there's, so many different, there's so many niches within niche, 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 niches. Yeah. Niche, niche. Nieces. 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 Like niece, your, nieces. Your niece. <laughs> your nephews. There's so many nephews yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> there's a lot of them there's a lot of them uh, uh, oh. yeah good stuff <laughs> well uh well. kim i think uh i think that's uh probably about all all the time i have to listen to you talk yeah this you uh, time. <laughs> this ban- banter i think the key <laughs> takeaways here are do not plan hunting trips at all don't go with your buddy either and uh, don't crap in your neighbor's yard or your yard yeah. or, your, the or garage, your garage or whatever we or said. Your garage. <laughs> Just... And buy the toothpaste that you, whatever. Yes, Colgate. That's that's yeah, probably Colgate. Yeah, that's, uh, the that's Colgate probably the key. That's the key toothpaste. takeaway. Colgate Optic that's... White. Well, Kim, it was uh, as always good chatting with you. Uh, yeah, you're man. an awesome dude. Do you want to tell the people where they can find you in Alaska? And by that, I mean yeah. specifically your address. Yeah, um, by Alaska. Where, what, so what is it, your address? It, it, yeah, it's Alaska. You can go from there. It's just Alaska. It's just drive, nah, give just them your plugs, joker. man. We're we're all yeah. Social um, media. Where are you at? I know TikTok, the, uh, but where else? Yep. Uh, so Instagram is Barbell Rescue One. Uh, TikTok is just mm-hmm. Barbell Rescue. Facebook is just Barbell Rescue, and then mm-hmm. website is barbellrescue.com. dot com. And um, if you have any questions, you can always DM on any of those. I'm on there all the time. Okay. And I love to chit chat <laughs> with people. So you're likely going to get conversations like this. Um, so just um, bear with me. Yep. <laughs> and um, yeah, or shoot us an email, um, just barbellrescue at okay. gmail.com. Um, and uh, I'm happy to answer um, anything you got, any questions, comments, concerns, emotional outbursts. Awesome. Uh, whatever you may have. Well, hey, I appreciate you being on here as always. Um, yeah, yeah, thank we'll talk you. Talk to you later. It's always good catching up. <laughs> yep. Later. Yes, sir. All right. See you, man.